Yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. I, I know it's music themed, but that's pro that's about it, really. Um, and I know it looks cool, um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Get this guy so he can stop singing, you know, he can chill out and carry on with the game. Francis Vendetti's first show. She's lifting the hay fields and she's turning the soil Where the banks of the rivers they are landing gold Ah, uh, is he up there on the cliff? I believe so. What a really weird town in the background. It's like built up into like different rings on top of each other. Seems like some kind of fantasy town or something, but interesting. In the sky. Strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life, Hold X. <laughs> Seems like a complicated thing for just Hold X, but I'll take it. Is that it? No? Is that all we got? Oh. Don't think we were inspired by that. Play a folk anthem about the green acreage of Calypso, Colorado. Hold X. I guess. Is this one going to inspire us? No? Okay. What are we going to get? Oh, I thought we were flying. Okay, that's not how the it's the way the camera panned. Shred a sci-fi guitar odyssey. Hold X. Is this inspirational to us? It seems pretty inspirational. I'm holding X. I don't know if I let go if it stops or not, but I'm just going to keep it going. I'm not really sure. Your look doesn't match your sound. Oh. Yeah, but does it sound good? <gasps> Excuse me? What? Foldable guitar? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Okay. Complete tonal disconnect. It's a new thing. It gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That that was exactly. I, I mean, we got to, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm usually much more serious. Hmm. I play folk music. Yeah, I play folk music. You know. You look like you do. Mm, is that a compliment or not? I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. Yeah. My first show. Oh. Uh huh. It's tomorrow, right? But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards. And my mind wanders away. Interesting. Where to? Um, the unfathomable, unfathomable depths of space. The That's where. Unfathomable depths of space. Yeah. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. Is it? I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Okay. Wouldn't you agree? Um. I'm sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Okay, I'm we'll sure go with that. Dangerous, but I, am I don't know if any of this actually makes Excellent. any difference to anything, but we'll see. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. Who are you? I'm going to commit a crime. You're a criminal. Okay. Who are you? Um, okay, I'll do it. Uh, that's pretty rational. That's pretty dangerous, though. And I'm just one, not the other one. So... I'm Violetta. 
Violetta. Okay. I can assure you there's nothing strange about me at all. You do look like the female version of my character, so... Kinda strange, but also... I don't care what the crime is, let's okay. just go for it. I'll do it. If, yeah, it's, it's more, you would. more enjoyable if we just uh, go along for it and find out as we go, I guess. Dope. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that background's quite nice. The um, the city that's like built up on like a mountain type thing. No idea how you get from one level to the other, but you know, don't think too hard about it. Um, did she just like sprint or what? We're getting more and more vast. Further and further out on that. How big are these trees? The summit. Kids come here to hang out. At least they used to. What are they now? Folks moving on from Calypso. Ah, moving on to Calypso. I say. Wee, there's a little bit of platform in there. I don't know how much platform there'll actually be, but I feel like this is this is feeling like it's going to be hugely um, story driven rather than actually anything else. But some of these have like some of these story driven games normally have puzzles and stuff in them. I have no idea. I have no idea where this is going to go, but we'll see. Can we grab on? Yeah. Okay. Running through the wheat fields. Picturesque mountains in the background. It does make me feel like it's not real of some kind. I don't want it to be it's all a dream type deal, but you know. The whole setting. I don't know. Yo, Violetta, what's up? Where did this come from? This isn't this is Johnson Vendetti's nephew. Isn't that us, Francis Vendetti? After party, okay. After party for your show. Ah. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. How does she, she know? Um. Love skiffle. I don't know who that is. Quite forceful on their. Opinions on with their opinions on skiffle. <laughs> I'll give him a chance. Um, I'll give him a chance. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. You stole this stuff, right? This is the oh. crime, possibly. We're still gonna play, obviously. Um. And get that guitar out of my pocket, of course. Folk ballad. Okay. I got this. Stop. What's wrong? No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Sounded pretty hey, good, you know. When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Okay. Let's do it. No, not that one. Oh. Play again. Oh. That was the one. That's worse than the first one. Oh. Are you sure? Is it this one? Bonanza. That's it. Okay, cool. Glad we're clear on that. It was X to do all of those things, by the way. Um, <laughs> there's no different button. What are you taking? Nothing. Taking? Valves. 
Okay. Later. Wait, what? We need a diversion of, for her to steal Wait, some stuff. Is this Rami stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? Well, that's not very nice, is it? He killed a man in Boulder. Oh. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I mean, your name was on the banner, but... I know who you are, kid. Yeah. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You need the male version of her, so... You ever made Basically it a picture top? of her. Um... I don't know. Been too scared to try. Oh. The, the tree, she means, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know that she meant the tree or the mountain in the background. But the tree. Kill yourself from up here. Um, you shred pretty well. I feel like that's a compliment coming from this person. I feel like she doesn't normally. Oh, um, she's gonna go with thanks, you know. Thanks, don't go too far with it. That's okay. So, you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? Mm. How do you mean? Going out and shredding? Changing the look? I'll tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Wait, what? Stay weird, kid. Why did she got? Is she is she from the future or something? Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso. In Calypso, there's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else entirely. Is that what we want? This tree's a lot bigger from up here. If Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen, well, I'd rather not think about it. Yeah, let's get out of I'm here. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's more like an interactive story then maybe, rather than like an actual, I guess, you know, there's some kind of gameplay elements, but still. I don't think it's gonna be one way you necessarily lose at some point but yeah I think it might be just one way you choose choose your own choose your own adventure maybe when she touches the sky and you've got no and you don't know just why you're the child of the river coming home Tonight, sweet rose of lost in your wind. It looks like no one lives here. Run, babe, run, Calypso, Colorado.
Where will it take us next? Nope. We booked it back to town. So there are people that live here, to be fair. They're just in town. Okay. There weren't any cars on the road or anything like that. That's what my thought was. Oh, what's going on here? Francis, you little bastard. Wait, what? Come to me, my love. Um... Goldie, you lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket in your recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. Nice. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. Um. Oh, Goldie, I don't think. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. Yeah, but when we're playing that new material, know. you know. I really do. It does look like it does look like him. I'm not gonna lie, he just needs to flick that hair up, but you know what? We'll see. Um some apples. What's going on there? Uh, yeah. Man of the hour. Guess hey, so. Joe. There's a circus on the October twenty fourth, so Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. What what you listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? Nah, nah. Uh, ever heard of Lightman's? Mm, yeah, let's see if you, you know. ever heard of Lightman's. Mm, junk sci-fi movie. It, it's not a movie. It's a place. Might be both. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. Um. Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, blow minds. Yeah, this guy's got sure. it. This guy's got it. Mm -hmm. See what I can do. I'll catch you later. later. Calypso is usually much quieter. Hmm. It's quieter each summer, the old folks say. Doesn't People seem it to die. Anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. Ah. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. I'm guessing he's no longer there, right? So, his uncle. Um. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. The finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. Nice. That's me. Really? Thanks for that. You avoiding me, son? I just run straight at you, so probably no, not. No, Rami, no. Oh. I find you very intimidating. <laughs> what am I doing, Francis? Don't know what that you is. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm smiling. Is it really? Is that? Is, is that? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That beaming smile you've right. got. We got a full house tomorrow night. Yeah, and you're ecstatic about it. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say... Mm. You will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Ooh. Or you about will that. misplace tea. Ooh. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. Um. Now make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Is this going to be an actual decision I get to make, maybe? Hmm. Could be interesting. Cafe Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. Hmm. I can keep going. 
Who's this? Ooh, Some of the folk band. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's yeah, right, Francis lads. Vendetta. Francis Vendetta. Burn, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a big deal, you know. Mm, there better be some skiffle on your show, Vendetti, for your sake. I'm just telling I'm you guessing that's a folk thing. Out. I actually don't know what that is, so. Skiffle? Like jazz with pots and pans? Oh, is that what it is? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Oh, that's what they're playing with this, like, washboard and stuff. And How did the folk music tell you that for free? All right. Take your word for it. Well, it's hey, worth up, coming all the way over here. Worth, 100%. It's a sight, make no mistake. Uh, it seems a bit. I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. Might as well say something like that, right? And the others seemed a bit... A bit dry, so... There we go. Nice little setting, though. It feels weird when there's not music playing in the background now, after all the music that's been on. But... Okay... There we go. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Nephew, yeah. Sure, whatever. I saw the Flyers free show, man. Mm-hmm. Probably won't check it out, though. Why not? Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. Okay. But you've got no chance. Okay. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once cool. in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. This guy knows what he's talking about, clearly. Um, no, we have no idea. Is this plants? Cassandra, you're oh. leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. What? I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi drivel. Just how you dig it. Oh, so he does, he does, um, read sci-fi then. Interesting. Um, scientist poisons his town's water supply to appear to them as being an alien. Pretty cool. Um, a king disguises himself as a piece of overcast sky. Okay. Um, using an illegal avatar, a mutant rises through the aristocracy of, so of a sober city. Yeah. I kind of like the first one more, to be honest. Oh. Okay, this does make a difference then. We're going there by the same... Oh. Okay. Whoa. Briefly. Well, aren't you going to thank me? Sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Mm. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... Hey, what? Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Now, Cassandra. On, Cassandra, come on now. Cassandra. Here. Okay. Practice. All right. All right. Plant page. Expensive books. Minimal security. So we did actually steal from there. Tut tut. Um. I don't know what was right now, though. Over on the right side. So this is we can get upwards. We might actually want to check out what's all the way to the right, too. I never recognize anyone who eats here. 
Probably a hub for time travelers. So he, lo he likes your sci-fi. That's what we know. That girl was very sci-fi um, that turned uh, up. Hello? Francis Van Denny. The pleasure's all mine. But this is a random payphone. Mayor Swartz here. What? How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Of course. Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Mm-hmm. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. Okay. What the business is closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Right out of your head. Mm -hmm. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. What? All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Okay. Give me a lot of mixed messages here, Don't man. Cock it up. I wasn't planning on it. What are these two? Okay, I'm just going to leave them to it. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, we're going to try over to the right side before we go up a level. So this is the town, then. This, this, that's how you get up the levels. What I was asking, what I was talking about earlier, even. I wonder how we get up the levels. It's like that little tram cable cart type thing. It takes us up them. But inconveniently, it's in different places on different levels, of course. Um, check over to the right here. Oh, see if we've got any that? interesting characters. Zombie Van Daddy. Ah, of course. That is in poor taste. Um, interesting. Well, that's what we missed out on. Zombie Vendetti? Really? Okay. I like this little town, though. Everyone just chilling like that huge mountain above the clouds isn't like right there. Um, but I guess you get used to it, right? If it's always there. Um, boop. But I get they're all they're all um, visitors though, so surely they should be looking out there, right? Oh, this guy is. There you go. Yeah, you you enjoy that view, sir. Well done. I, well, well done, but you know. Through the looking glass. I feel like this is a kind of game where they hey, could Lucy. put lots of things in the background that I'd just miss. And they'd be like hints to stuff, but... Uh, I'm yeah, supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. Okay. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. Mm -hmm. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Nice. Uh, okay, yeah. Lucy, you got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Loop the Drifter. Hank okay. Williams, really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Well, yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. Um. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. You come Sandra to seemed to know about it. I'll go to the show. Yeah? I'm not going to the after party. Oh. You don't like the Skiffle band? They're like Jimmy Page started in Skiffle. 
That was. I think that was a terrible, terrible Scouse accent she was trying yeah. to do. But there you go. Everyone loves Jimmy for his skiffle. Exactly. Uh, Thanks, cheers. Steve. These brain waves are, um, I don't know whether they're like pivotal moments because where we picked certain things on the other one, I, I have no idea. My place, childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. Look at shrine. It looks, and a tomb. Looks like, it looks like a big house, but it looks pretty run down for half of it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh. I'm going to assume there's nothing on the right. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? See me? Probably not. Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. Baccaro? Uh-huh. What? Yeah. You don't seem yourself. Oh. Don't seem myself? No. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I did do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've decided to create uh, the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. <laughs> the boy you loved may already be gone. Enchiladas pretty good though. So, I mean. Can we can we not have the enchiladas before we do that? Oh, okay, okay. That's my dad and my uncle. Nice. They were really close. Mom says, from the beginning until the end. No one asks mm. me about my dad much. Oh. There's ladders here we can go up, or there's... need a bathroom first. Oh. How do you get to that room at the behind it? Like that door, I guess, but it doesn't really let you use it, so... Up the ladder we go. Oh, this is pretty cool. Though. Oh, this is all sci-fi stuff, right? Because you love sci-fi. Nice. Um, I step on stage, not as myself, mm -hmm. but as someone else entirely. I think you could. People believe an alien could play music. You may get your teeth knocked out by that guy who actually runs the uh, bar, but. Could the radio intercept intergalactic transmissions? Could it? Uh, it's getting late. They should put a record on and chill out. Let me take one more look around. Um, uh, it is getting light. Oh, it's getting. Oh, those are the two. Those are the two options. Okay. So let's let's put a record on and chill out. just 62 miles away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe in all its grandeur, its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet. Um, we're dreaming, right? Yeah, we're dreaming, right? 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 Ooh. 
That looks pretty grotesque. Um, 